What if we could predict which leukemia patients are at high risk of relapse long before it happens and potentially save more lives? Hi everyone, my name is Alvaro Basterra and today I'm presenting a summary of my master final thesis titled as Design and Implementation of Artificial Intelligence Techniques for Prognostic Prediction in Acute Myeloid Leukemia. This research is part of ALM, a larger technological development project aimed at improving the diagnosis, prognosis, and treatment of hematological diseases using artificial intelligence techniques. This collaborative effort included institutions such as Universidad Politécnica de Madrid, Universidad Complutense de Madrid, Hospital Universitario 12 de Octubre, and the company SpotLab, with UPM leading the artificial intelligence development part through the Biomedical Image Technologies Research Group. In terms of introduction, acute myeloid leukemia or AML is an hematopoietic malignance characterized by peripheral blood cytopenia, morphological dysplasia, and impaired hematopoiesis. And it is presented by a wide variety of clinical features, morphological pr um, clinical presentations, morphological features, and genetic findings, with a relative survival rate of 15 new cases per million inhabitants per year. It is important to remark that diagnosis and prognosis depends on the analysis of the von marrow spirit simple images provoking that both processes are subjected to a high inter-observer variability. Therefore, the main objective of the present study was the implementation of artificial intelligence techniques for prognostic prediction in AML patients by integrating multimodal information from medical imaging and both clinical and genetic data. In order to achieve this objective, we employed two different artificial intelligence models. Firstly, an image-based models that analyzed the von Marrow microscopy images using advanced deep learning techniques such as multiple instance learning and CLAM, a variant of this architecture. And secondly, we employed a multivariable model that combined clinical and genetic data from the patients using a random forest algorithm. This model took into account crucial clinical features such as the age of the patients at the time of diagnosis, the cytogenetic complexity, and the blast percentage. Finally, we integrated these two approaches into an ensemble model which combined the strengths of both the image and the multivariable models to enhance the overall predictive accuracy. Our data set consisted of a total of 175 AML patients from Hospital Universitario 12 de Octubre, each with 40 uh, digitalized files of view from the bone marrow aspirates, along with detailed clinical and genetic data. The main endpoint of the present study was the six-month relapse free survival, which is critical to assessing the likelihood of disease relapse after treatment. Now let's talk about the results. We can observe on the screen that the ensemble model outperformed both the individual models, the image-based and the multivariable ones, in terms of test every under the curve. This demonstrated the potential of this tool of integrating multimodal data to improve the prognostic predictions in acute myeloid leukemia. Moreover, we evaluated the Kaplan major survival curves, which showed a significant difference between high risk and low risk patients groups with a p value of 0 0.00002. This indicated that the ensemble model is highly effective in stratifying patients based on their relapse risk. This visualization clearly demonstrated that the ensemble model can be used to identify patients at higher risk of relapse early on. In addition, to interpret how the multivariable model made these decisions, we employed the SAP algorithm, which identified the most important variables influencing their relapse free survival. This included the age at diagnosis, the karyotype complexity, and the percentage of blast in the von Marrow cytology. By understanding these factors, doctors can better tailor treatments for individual patients. In conclusion, our ensemble model offered a powerful tool that could potentially serve as a prognostic biomarker in AML and a deficient support system for oncologists. By accurately predicting which AML patients are at the highest, uh, highest risk of relapse, we can enable doctors to make timely interventions improving long-term patients' outcomes. In conclusion, this work showed how um, artificial intelligence can not only enhance prognostic accuracy, but also help guide personalized treatment strategies in clinical practice, ultimately giving doctors more confidence in their decisions and patients a better chance at survival. Thank you very much.